in the journal entry, Ruby got in an argument with some woman. Um, I think this is a cemetery where they're picking up trash. And this woman drove by and was like, what are you doing? Why are you guys here? And Ruby was like, I think initially they thought they were like grave robbing or something like that. I don't know. But this is all from Ruby's perspective. So who knows if she's telling the truth or not. But it seems like they got into an argument and the woman had her camera out and she was trying to film them. I wonder if this is the woman that filmed them or if this was just someone else who was just like, hey, this is kind of weird. Why are there kids here like in the graveyard out in the sun? And I wonder if they even had shoes on. You see how he's walking? It doesn't look like he has shoes on. No, he looks fucking barefoot. Oh my god. Okay, the, the music is not going with the vibes. I'm going to turn the music down. <laughs> turn off the music. But if you look really closely, yeah, he's like completely barefoot. I was like, maybe he's wearing sandals. You can't really see, but he's barefoot. Also, Ruby said that she was picking up trash with the children. Maybe she wasn't even picking up the trash. Maybe she just made the children do it by themselves. Yeah, she was a privilege. Yeah, that's like so weird. We have a bunch of Jody calls where she just like feels bad for herself. Guys, get ready. Um, there's this one call that really pisses me off and you'll, you'll know when you hear it. FYI, this call was made, I think in October. Yeah, this call was done in October. Okay. It's so crazy because like person who was like talking on the phone with her, I wonder if they realized like, oh no, you were just making the kids sleep on the floor. It was way more worse than that. Nobody wants oh, the yeah. truth. Nobody wants the truth. Nobody wants the truth because these kids, you know, I told Doug, I woke up, the spirit told yeah. me, it's all the devil. Oh. You've seen him. I mean, I've known you, what, for five years? You. Oh, look at this person being a yes man. You've watched him come at me, come at me, come at me, come at me. Mm -hmm. And you're exactly right because he knows I know what he's doing. And he uses these kids. And he uses yeah. all of us as the adults. That the parents that don't hold the kids accountable. So now it's it's yeah. abusive to make a kid sleep on the floor. It's abusive, or it's abusive to, you know, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You can't even raise your kids anymore. It's so sickening. I wonder how many yes men's she has in her life that just tells her like, yes, Jody, yes, you're right. It's you against the world. Uh, this next one. This next audio was same day. Maybe the same person. Um, this was taken in October 18, so about almost two months after the arrest. So what I'm saying is you're being crucified in public opinion. Yeah. So your fear has to be super, super prepared. And who's the person that's talking to her? They're saying that she was crucified in public opinion, but when the news first broke about all this... Um, it sounded pretty severe. Children, malnourished, emaciated, begging for food. Who is this person that they're talking to? Does she just not watch the fucking news or something? Are they just clueless? And the only way he's going to get prepared is if you push him and ride him. Okay. okay, I will. I'll call him today. Yeah. He doesn't seem really animated. He seems like, you know, the pictures, yeah, it, the pictures are going to yeah. destroy you. And I'm like... So she knows that the pictures will destroy you. She knows how bad it looks in the pictures. I want to boost up the audio again. We didn't do that. We didn't do that. Those pictures we did not do. He did that to himself, yes. Did we put that on him and then he rubbed around and cut himself, yes. But we didn't do that. Isn't that wild? That's her explanation for Russell's injuries. She said that he did it to himself. They didn't do that. That was something that he did it to himself. We didn't do that. We didn't do that. Those pictures we did not do. He did that to himself, yes. Did we put that on him and then he rubbed around and cut himself? Yes. But we didn't do that. Yeah, that, those are the type of monsters that these children were dealing with. Okay, uh, this one is redacted too. This one is from... Jody Hildebrand, September, no, it's not September. Jody Hildebrand, February 5th. So at this point, they were already found guilty and their sentencing was happening in about 10 days. Let's see what she has to say here. This is another jailhouse call. This is a call from and paid for by Jody Hildebrand, an inmate at Purgatory Correctional Facility. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. 
Sorry, I'm gonna boost up the audio even more. If you don't wish yeah. to talk, hang up now. <laughs> Thank you for using Telmate. Are you there? Yeah. Yep, there you are. Okay, yeah. Okay, so the Lord says that first they'll lay their hands on you and, right. and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought right. before kings and rulers for my namesake. And yeah. it shall turn to you for a testimony. And then he says, Settle it therefore in your hearts not to meditate before what ye shall answer, for I will give you a mountain in wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay or ne or, or resist. And you know what gainsay means? Wow. Who is she talking to? So then, then he said, Who is she talking to, you guys think? Wow. So then, then he says, And ye shall be betrayed by both parents and brethren and kinsfolk and friends. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's exactly what's going on. And some of you shall be caused to be put to death. And you shall be hated for, by all men for my name's sake. And then he goes on yeah. to say, you know, and I never read that before, but like I've never been in prison. But I just read that. Yeah. I just. <laughs> I don't know what the hell was this he answers or she just starts spewing this stuff. Listen, I would have hung up already. Okay. Oh, bye. -bye. Just wept. I mean, the spirit was like, he just said, this is you. Yeah. I read, good. I read in Mark. So that was in, that was in um, Luke. And I read in Mark. I'm sure we're getting somewhere. Otherwise, they wouldn't have included the call, maybe. The same kind of thing, you know, because the, the Gospels, they, they wrote similarly. Um, so he said, Now the brother shall betray the brother to death, and the father the son. Like the father will betray the son. And the children shall rise up against their parents and shall cause them to be put to death. Um, the children being put to what now? Did she say hi, dad at the beginning or hi, Dan? Oh, I don't know. I didn't catch it. Well, we'll listen to it again. Um, it's my understanding that she doesn't have a good relationship with her parents. Um, and aren't they already dead? I don't know. I, I thought I, I thought I remember that she didn't have a good relationship with her dad. That statement right there is what's going on with me. Oh my God. Hold on a second. I need to listen to the end. She'll cause them to be put to death. And the children shall rise up against their parents and shall cause them to be put to death. So she's saying that the children rose up against their parents? That statement right there is what's going on with me. The children shall rise up and put their parents to death. The children shall rise up and put their parents to death. Oh my God, who was this person saying, yeah, yeah, shut the fuck up. And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Oh my goodness, yeah. I just, I mean, I, I probably cried for an hour straight. Just everything clicked. And I said, wow. I'm happy to go to prison. If, if, you, if you continue to read the rest of the, of the chapter. She says, I'm happy to go to prison. Something clicked. If you read the rest of the chapter. She's like, uh -huh. be, be grateful. If you're in this situation, be grateful because you're. Be you're grateful. And wow. you will be saved. And wow. Yeah, that's bad. That's quite an experience to read that from, from your yeah. perspective right now. You know, wow. So I have just been begging him, like, you've got to explain this to me. Like, I cannot logically figure out what's going on here. Uh, well, you abused children, Jody, and now you're in trouble for it. And you're going to prison. And you're some fucked up people. And, and that's it. That's what's going on. And the spirit. Yeah. I mean, I just was... I, when I feel the spirit, I have two physiological reactions. I don't know. She just sounds like a conspiracy theorist. Like, people who make connections where there are no connections. People who see patterns when there's like, oh, uh, what pattern are you talking about? 
That's <laughs> so crazy. I get really um, like shaky, like I'm like I'm shivering, like I'm cold, or I feel uh-huh. heat, like I have a fever run through me. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I was like burning up. It felt like I was burning up, and I was just shaking with gratitude. Like, here's wow. here's your answer. Here's what this yep. is. Um, she doesn't have a psychiatrist license. She's like a, she's got a, uh, she's a therapist. That's super cool. And it, uh, bring, me, uh, okay. but, bring me how that works, how the scriptures can do that, you know? Yeah. Cause it's my understanding. There's like therapists, psychiatrists, and then psychologists and they're all, um, different. And I know there's like counselors too. I think that's like another category. Yeah. Cool. Well, I have, like I said, I have probably every single day just been, you know, trying to logic, trying to understand, oh, yeah. and to be humble and trying to say, uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. What's happening? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're, you're living a puzzle trying to put the pieces together. Yeah. Just. Yeah. yeah, and in um in Peter, First Peter, I don't have this one written down. I, I kind of wrote, wrote the stuff down, so I took it down to the phone. But in First Peter, chapter four, um, between verses twelve and nineteen, I can't remember exactly how he says it, but he's like, when you something happens, does anyone um, can anyone link uh Jody's credentials? Because I know sometimes people say like therapists for like you know when they're seeing a psychiatrist or psychologist but um if i remember correctly like she's not a psychiatrist or a psychologist that requires like additional schooling i think or additional education thing happened to you and it it feels like it's random it's not random like like this is intentional (laughs) like like you're you're, it's not just some crazy active events that's going on this is like intentional and that first peter chapter four was another one of the um footnotes to refer to you know wait let's take a break in her bullshit hold on i found her linkedin oh my gosh she has a linkedin this is her on linkedin Uh, <laughs> that's her on LinkedIn. Oh my god, I found her on LinkedIn. I thought I can't view LinkedIn unless I had a LinkedIn. Jody Hildebrandt, therapist and educator. Because if she was a psychiatrist or a psychologist, for sure she would put that in there because that's like a, my understanding, like a higher title. She is a licensed clinical mental health counselor. Okay. I think that's what I heard too. Master of Science for Educational Psychology. I don't know what that means. Oh, what is this? I had a full-blown panic attack last night. It started with slow breaths and it got heavier and heavier. It felt like there was a crushing dot, dot, dot. I've never been more conscious of my thoughts and have learned to be more deliberate with my words. I've learned to become aware of my motives and dot, dot, dot. I feel dot, dot, dot. What is this? Oh, she just liked these. I don't know if she wrote these articles. I thought she did for a second. Did she write articles? I have to have a LinkedIn account to see the whole profile. But I mean, we see Ruby's on there. That's Sherry, like the Sherry. Jared Meacham. Why does his name sound so familiar? Chad Frankie. Oh, Morwenna. Oh, wait. I think Morwenna is... um. Adam Paul Steed's ex-wife that he was talking about. I think her name was Morwenna. Oh my God. I think that's her right there. Bo. I remember her talking about a Bo. Why does the Meacham name sound so familiar? Okay. All right. Let's go back to the, um, the other nonsense. Oh my God. I wonder if she's still friends with Morwenna. Refer to, you know, that reinforced all this other stuff. I'm like, oh, wow. this is just some crazy, random event. That's purpose. For just... right. And then I connected it to my blessing. It's my blessing I've been reading, like, several times a day. And the blessing is pretty, pretty clear. This is my first, the first paragraph of it says, you know, these are words 
directly to you from your Heavenly Father. And according to your faith and diligence, um, you'll, they'll either be a comfort to you or, or they won't be. You know, So it's however much diligence and faith you want to put in. And then the next yeah. paragraph talks about, um, it says, you are a special spirit, chosen and reserved for these last days and sent forth to the earth in great clouds of glory to share the gospel and prepare the people for the return of the Savior. I thought the stalker was a reference because I thought she called Adam Paul Steed a stalker, didn't she? Yeah. And, it, and it says, um, one of the reasons you were sent here is to share the gospel. The strongest message you will ever teach is the power of your example. Then he says, through the power of your example in the spoken word, or no, he says, um, your tongue will be loosed and you will be able to teach the gospel in far and distant nations. And then he says, no, through, the, through, the, through the power of your example and the spoken word, you will be a great tool in the hand. Wait, she said she was kidnapped? Wait, what? And the Lord is teaching the gospel to many. So the whole paragraph about an example, an example, an example, I'm like, well, what's a better example than to go to prison and just like, <laughs> and then yeah. teach the gospel, to teach the gospel. Like, I wonder if it's like, she's like, shit, we're about 15 days away from my, or 10 days away from my sentencing. Maybe, maybe I should be, maybe I should make it seem like I'm actually remorseful in these jailhouse calls. I don't know, because she's talking about how she's, um, glad to be going to prison um <laughs> she's making it seem like she's going like a disneyland vacation or something yeah yeah and that i mean that's super cool that lady that's, that's jewish that you've met and yeah you know what are, what are, i feel like this guy doesn't know what she's talking about but he's just like throwing random things out there okay. yeah be able to share it with her and Okay, that's where the call ends. But someone mentioned, what did the beginning say? Let me see. Because I have no idea who she was talking to. I have no idea. This is a call from and paid for by Jody Hildebrandt, an inmate at Purgatory Correctional Facility. This call is subject to recording and monitoring. If you don't wish yeah. to talk, hang up now. Oh, can you link them in the Discord? <laughs> Yeah. Thank you for using Telmate. Are you there? Yeah. Yep, there you are. Okay, yeah. No, yeah, there's no name. She just says, hey there. Um, I didn't hear a name. Okay, now we have another of Jody's phone calls. This one is from... Same day. Maybe same day, maybe same person, or maybe she calls a bunch of other people. Let's see. I'm gonna try to blast it. Begging God, like, please help me and why I'm in this. Like, this doesn't make any sense. Yeah. <laughs> She's in a place called Purgatory. <laughs> That's why people are all like, <laughs> when you get these calls, will you accept a phone call from blah, blah, blah at Purgatory? And he, he gave me some information yesterday and then. And then today really sealed it with some scriptures that um, um, I'd love to share it with you. Yeah, go ahead. You got it there. I'm reading the Articles of Faith by Talmadge. This is an excellent book. Oh, uh -huh. I think every, yep. everybody should read this book. Yep, I've, I've read that one. That's... Yeah. Pretty, pretty deep read in some regards. <laughs> it is. It hits all the principles, you know, with yeah. a lot of clarity. So I've got a woman yeah. that's um, interested in the church, so I've been reading some of this to her as well. She claims that she was kidnapped. It's in Kevin's second interview with the police. Yes, we are going to be listening to that um, after we're done with, the, with Jody's um, phone call. It's almost there. So she's oh, cool. a Jew, and her, both her parents are from Jerusalem. Really? Yeah. And she's like, oh, that's cool. I, I believe that Jesus is the Christ, and it's great. So, let's go to show. Wow, that's neat. Like with the Bible, the book at the same time. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> so, yeah. So, there's there you go. He's talking about. Uh -huh talking about the second coming and you know I'm coming from this place of 
I was just getting ready to move, and all of a sudden I ended up in prison. You know, like, what, what the world? Yeah. And, um, you know, one day you'll know all the details, and they'll, they'll all make sense, but if I could talk right. to you here. Um, right. But, um, it was the Lord talking to the disciples. They asked him, like, um, when shall these things be? Like, when, when are these things going to come to pass? And so he starts talking right. about the last days. And he, he said that nation shall war against nation and kingdom against kingdom. But, and then he goes, but before all the, these that he just talked about. Poor guy. He's just trying to get on with his day. He's probably running errands right now. <laughs> She just keeps talking. They uh, shall lay their hands on you. Now, I have been praying for five months, like, explain this to me. Like, what is going on? Like, I'm willing to go there, but please let me go right side up. Like, like yeah. if you want me to be there because you want me to be there, then, then great, great. I will not resist it at all, but please help me understand. So I read this this morning, and I just wept and wept and just thanked him and thanked him because thanked him it just all oh, wow. click, 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 click. So he says, wow. before all these things, you know, nation rising against nation, they shall lay yeah. their hands on you. And I'm like, oh. I'm like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> prosecute you. You have one minute remaining for this call. Back. Yep, call me back. Can you hear that? Okay. <laughs> yeah, call me back. <laughs> Don't call me back. Oh, you know what? I wonder if this was the first call that she made where she's like, hey, let me read you a scripture. And then they talked about the Jewish person. And then when she calls him back, she went straight into scriptures. I think we listened to the call in reverse. <laughs> now it makes a little bit more sense. Uh, 24. I'm going to really boost this audio. OK, this is the last call from Jody Hildebrand. And then we'll get to Kevin Frankie's uh, interview. I haven't listened to Kevin Frankie's interview, but I saw titles that it was wild. This from is Jody Hildebrand from October 17. So about two months after her arrest. I was almost done. You know, I, yeah. I had um, a guy from a ward that I was saying I was at their ward. He came over and he gave me a blessing and he told me uh, probably about two months ago, he said. I wonder if it's her son. Um, I know someone in the chat says that she doesn't have a relationship with her daughter and son. I know that she doesn't have a relationship with her daughter because she mentioned that in the book. But it seems like she had a good relationship with her son unless something happened. Like might be he, the son. he doesn't know anything about me. He doesn't know about what I do for a living yeah. or anything. And he goes, you're, what you've been doing is going to change. You're going to be teaching differently in the next little while. Wow. Like, what? No, she has intentions to keep teaching. No, 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 no. This is exactly what the state prosecutor said. They don't want her going out there, gathering more followers. Uh -uh, this woman's dangerous to the community. Wow. What in the world? I mean, Ryan, I, I know this sounds crazy, and I still can't put my finger on why it feels this way, but yeah. it feels like I was being set up to end up here. Oh, my God. I know that sounds bizarro. I mean, I shouldn't well, be here. I haven't done anything wrong. <laughs> right, right, but my goodness. That's... You have one minute. What was this yes man? It has. I, it must be her son. She said Ryan? What did she say Ryan? I didn't hear Ryan at all. When did you hear Ryan? Wait, she did? Sorry, was I zoning out? But yeah. It feels like I was being set up. Wow. Like, what in the world? I mean, Ryan, I, I know. Oh, I mean, Ryan. Ryan isn't her son's name. I don't remember her son's name. Ryan. Who's Ryan? Wow. Like, what in the world? I mean, Ryan, I, I know this sounds crazy, and I still can't put my finger on why it's just who has a LinkedIn profile? I bet you if you go to LinkedIn, you can go through her. We could probably find out who this Ryan person is. Go on like Instagram or LinkedIn. I'm just curious. Wait, sorry. Oh. My finger on why it feels this way. But yeah. It feels like I was being set up to end up here. Oh my God. I know that sounds bizarro. I mean, I shouldn't well, be here. I haven't done anything wrong. Right, right, but my goodness. You have one minute remaining for this oh, call. Oh, run out of time. But, but it was like everything got... He's like, oh, we're out of time. Oh, sorry, Jody, we gotta, I, I gotta go. We're out of time. I wonder, maybe, maybe... What if she cut off both of her kids and, you know, maybe when she dies, maybe the will, you know, maybe his name is on the will or something, so he's got to make sure he's got a good relationship with her. 
maybe a leader in the church. I don't know. His responses are so generic. <laughs> they are. That's why I'm like, he's not really even engaging with her. Oh, wow. Oh, re- wow. That's crazy. Oh, like. Taken out of the house and it's in the storage. Maybe he doesn't even want these phone calls, but he's just trying to be polite. So that I could come to jail. <laughs> it sounds crazy, but it, it yeah. feels that way. Uh, that's, I don't know wow. if it would be like some kind of example, but when I get out of here, I have a story to tell and I am. I feel like he has like three responses. Wow. Oh, that's wild. Oh, wow. <laughs> Gonna try to do it here. I have a story to tell, and I am gonna try to do everything I can to protect the children because that's what's happening. It's like kids. That's why I thought it was like maybe her son, someone that's young. Neat. Her son is Chad. What if she's using like a, a pseudonym? Kids are being absolutely horribly yep. abused. Yeah, absolutely. And instead, of the kids can to protect the children because that's what. I am going to try to do everything I can to protect the children because that's what's happening. It's like kids are being absolutely horribly yep. abused. Yeah, absolutely. And instead of the kids. Anyways, it's it's a story, but when you come yep. up with that. Yeah. Okay, so in the. Mm. Just two boys. I thought she had one boy, one girl. Castaway Tom Hanks looking at. <laughs> <laughs> is that Gandalf? Yes. I paid lots of money for this from Etsy. It's a crochet Gandalf. And I'm like, I c probably could have crocheted myself, I learned, but I got suckered in, okay? Etsy has so much cute stuff. But he's uh, hanging out on my microphone right now. I don't know, his beard is all fudged up. But look, he has no pants. Wah! <laughs> 